Hey everyone, Kimo here, and welcome to my home. I recently acquired this thrift store find at the Goodwill for $4.99. I don't know if you can see that price tag or not. And I think it's got really great bones. It's a huge apple, I think made out of concrete because it's pretty heavy. And although it's really cool looking already, I thought that it really deserved a second life. So I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. Now I could have applied just a coat of some high gloss spray paint to really make it pop, but I wanted to do something a bit more special. So I found this really cool graffiti apple on a website for about $2,800. Now it's a lot larger than the apple that I have, but I really was starting to get some inspiration from it because it reminded me of pop art. The Dollar Tree has come out with some really great tissue paper designs lately, and I wanted to show you this one because this is the paper that I'm going to use to decoupage my apple. You can see that it has uh, some comic book language on there, cool, kapow, and those kinds of things, and I thought that this pattern would just really make my apple pop. And for only around seven bucks or so. Before we go any further, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you can get reminded of our latest videos that we publish every Sunday on things like DIY art, crafts, entertaining and gift ideas, and please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this pop art apple. All right, let's get going. We're gonna start off with a nice coat of white spray paint, and that will provide a really nice white background canvas for our decoupage project. Here is that Dollar Tree tissue paper that I got that we're going to be using today and I also wanted to introduce you to my secret weapon, cling wrap or plastic wrap. I've done some work ahead of time to tear out some pieces of tissue paper to have them on hand and ready to go. I've also prepared ahead of time pieces of plastic wrap that are one use for this project and I'll show you what I mean. For our very first piece, we are putting on some decoupage glue directly onto the surface of our apple. Then we'll take our piece of tissue paper that we've measured ahead of time and gently place it down onto the glue. Now you want to very gently press down with your fingers before painting over with some decoupage glue. When putting your decoupage glue over your paper, you want to be very careful. And one tip that I have is to try to start from the middle of the piece that you've torn out and work from the middle to the edges as much as you can. And our secret weapon, plastic wrap. Now I am using one of the pieces that I've torn out ahead of time, placing it on top of our decoupage paper and pressing down, and this will help you to get rid of those wrinkles. This is a great technique because the less amount of direct contact your fingers can have with that paper, the better off you'll be. We are continuing on with decoupaging more pieces of this tissue paper using the same technique. Now because we're working with a curved 3D surface, sometimes it's necessary to cut little slits on the edges of your piece of paper before you set it down. That will help you to navigate uh, placing that piece of paper on your surface a little bit better. And you can see here that I still needed to snip around one end just to make sure that we could curve that paper down onto the surface of the apple. And you can see that we're almost done with the top of the apple and we're going to be applying more tissue paper to the sides and the bottom of the apple as well. Thank you. 
Pop art was really big in the 60s with Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein, an American artist who is known for his big paintings that depicted these pixelated cartoon scenarios um, with some really cheesy sayings. Um, and I love pop art not only because of the graphic and colorful nature of the work itself, but because it really had something to say about the times. These artists were providing commentary on their surroundings and blowing up pop culture in a way that the art world had never seen before. And we are getting so close and I think the apple is starting to look so cool with all the different words on there and the different patterns and colors, it's turning out to be pretty cool. After decoupaging all the big pieces of tissue paper, I also did a quick last check and filled in any gaps and touched up here or there where the apple needed it. After the decoupage glue dries, now all we need is a final clear coat. Thanks again for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for the latest videos that we publish every Sunday. And wishing you a great day. See ya.